Hello everyone, I'm Shafiq, the founder of Brainboard, a tool that allows you to design cloud and multi-cloud infrastructures easily without writing a single line of code. So let's see how it works. Let's get started. I log in. During our last session, we built an Azure architecture that you see here depicted in the diagram. Now I start by creating a new architecture that I call AWS architecture and save it. As AWS is already selected, you see here all the available resources that you can find in Terraform available in Brainboard. So today I'm going to build an architecture consisting of having a region inside which I will have two availability zones and uh, one VPC spanning on the, uh, the two availability zones and I will be adding uh, virtual machines inside subnets in each availability zone to create a replication. I start by dragging region into the design area. You can see here all the AWS available regions that you can select and use. I keep the default parameters and apply it. Now I'm going to add an availability zone inside my region and it inherits in its configuration automatically all I have to do is select which availability zone I want to use. I use 1A for this one and clone it here and select a diff different one. I call it 1B. Now I'm going to create a VPC inside my, my region and I will edit across my availability zones. I give it a name and call it VPC demo and for the server block I give it 10.0.0.0 slash 16. I add now my subnet into the first availability zone. As you can see Brainboard detects uh, all the layers beneath the resource you want to add and gives you two options. The first one, the main parent, which is uh, the graphical container within which you want to insert the resource. The second one, what cloud configuration you want this new resource to inherit from the existing ones. So I keep the default options because this is exactly what I want and I add it. You can see here that uh, the subnet inherited automatically the VPC that I've created called VPC demo and add the dot ID to it because it's about the ID of the VPC. Now I give it a name, I call it subnet demo and for the server block I give it 10.0.2.0 slash 24 and I save my configuration. And at any time, I want to check the Terraform generated automatically to see if it's exactly what I want. You can go to the tab uh, area and check the source code generated. So here for my subnet, I have the provider, which is the region that I've added. And the VPC is the VPC ID that I've added. The seder block is exactly what I wanted, the availability zone. And... Um, Brainboard adds by default two tags, the environment name and the architecture UID. This is really helpful for you if one day you want to manage the infrastructure yourself so you have all the needed information that helps you manage the infrastructure the way you want. So I go back to my design and now I will insert virtual machine. I use an EC2 T3A inside the subnet and as I've said it before Brainboard detects the layers that you have that you will insert the new resource on and gives you the two uh, options I keep the information as it is because this is exactly what I want and I will double check in my resource I will check the availability zone is it is the 1a that that I have already created and specified and the subnet is exactly the subnet that I wanted is it's called subnet demo dot ID so all I have to do now is give it a type an instance type so let's choose t3a medium 
I specify here the MEI image and I use Debian, the default one, uh, the default and the official one available at the Debian site. I save my configuration and I will check again if it's exactly what I want. So I have here my instance with the information that I've introduced. So now I clone the subnet that contains uh, my virtual machine and put it in the other availability zone 1B. So I, I can clone it here. And when I clone it, I have the possibility to take it out of the region and check the fields that were disabled, for example, the VPC ID is now enabled that I can change it. What I want to do now is to put it inside the availability zone and check the configuration. So again, uh, BrainBoards understands the layers and give me the same questions. I say yes, and I will double check. So this is the VPC that I wanted, but I will check the availability zone, which is 1B, exactly what I wanted. Now I will check my virtual machine because um, I have two changes for my virtual machine. The first one is the availability zone. The second one is the subnet name because now this is a new clone. So here is the inherited parameters from the former one. And for the availability zone is 1B. And for the VPC, for the subnet name is now, it has now the new name of the newly created subnet. So this is exactly what I want. I will add an arrow between the two machines to specify that this is a replication and I will call it replication. So I change the endpoints and here is my diagram. So now that I'm happy with my architecture, I go to the Deploy tab, and here I have a lot of options. I can do Terraform plan, deploy, uh, visualize the source code that you can see here, all my resources um, and their configuration. I can download this source code, and now I'm going to do Terraform plan. So what happens behind the scenes, uh, BrainBoard creates an environment on the fly for me and do Terraform plan and give me the output. And here is the output of my Terraform plan with all the resources that I have here, with their configuration and everything I wanted. So all I have to do now is go and deploy it into uh, production. The last thing that I'm uh, within our presentation uh, is the depict area. Here you can see all the resources that I have and way, where they are located. For example, let's see that I change um, my region into another region, let's say, for example, Stockholm. I apply, I come here and I see that my resources have uh, changed. Thanks a lot for watching. This is the end of the video uh, where we uh, designed together an AWS architecture and a replication of a virtual machine across two availability zones uh, within the same VPC. So uh, don't don't forget to sign up, test it, try it, play with it, give us feedback, and enjoy. Have a nice day.